Alrighty then. Um, despite what someone said about this microphone being better, I don't know if I'll be better to understand or not. Um, I got to play some Commander games today. They were all uh, pretty simple. I think they were mostly blots. I haven't had a good Commander game in a while. Um, that I've successfully recorded. Um, who are we playing against in this the first game? Uh, this is the Duretti game. So our opponent doesn't have blue, so it's already good. Uh, our hand has a Thoughtseize and a Remand and Ad Nauseam, plus a Refill, plus a 1-drop. So this hand with two lands and the correct mana to cast everything in our hand except for this Ad Nauseam um, is an obvious keep, I think. So... He goes first. He doesn't play Soul Ring. Yay. City of Brass. Now we've got all three colors. Uh, Lead with Urborg doesn't help him. No reason to fetch right away. Cold Star, Pagarden, Hellkite, Duplicant, Witch Bay Orange, Staff of Nan, two Mountains. I'm going to say I probably take the Cold Steel Heart just to slow him down. And in fact, I do. Um, since his hand is slow, I'm going to guess I'm going to Knight's Whisper instead of Remand. Oh, and i got to fetch too, which is nice. Now I can just uh, fetch out a, a Volcanic because I already have the Urborg. Um, so I guess his fetch isn't as good since it's just an island. So, yep, Knight's Whisper is in fact what I choose to do. Period and Hercules, both very good considering his deck is nothing but artifacts. Hercules is good as gas anyway, and Preordain is a good card in the early game. Pretty much a good card anytime. Preordain is just a really solid card. Uh, another land off the top, I guess it's not super exciting. Um, I either Preordain or I key, and I hold up Remand would be my guess. Uh, probably the Preordain. No reason to key yet. Yep, Preordain. Ah, now there's a reason to key, because I've got a Mana Ball on top. So this game probably ends fairly quickly. And now I've got a uh, Reman still up with Vault Key combo on the board. And there's Duretti. I'm probably going to cantrip out here and tempo him. And indeed I do. And that's a Mana Drain. It's looking very bad for him. So Vault combo up. Pass potentially Ad Nauseam. Which main orb? Um, that's annoying for Tendril, so I'm probably just going to drain and use the four mana to add nauseum on my turn, would be my guess. And, yep. Um, still have tons and tons of mana, so very easy to win on turn, even if I don't. He, it's a one on one, so he's slaughtered and card advantage. There's nothing aggressive on the board, he has no board state. Uh, it doesn't even matter if I whiff here, he's just, he just loses. There's just too many cards I'm going to have. Um, but I think this is instant win because we hit, hel hit Helm, Mind's Desire, Probe, plus Vamp Tutor. Oh, and Gush. So we've got uh, one mana tutor to hand. Plus, plus Frantic Search. Yeah, he's just totally fucked. Because I'll just Vamp Tutor uh, probably more mana. With this many Islands and, islands and Frantic Search. <laughs> Excuse me, it's probably High Tide. We'll see in a second. It's high tide. And we hit a Cabal uh, Ritual, which is now fully active, so he is just beyond dead for Mind's Desire. And even if I somehow magically whiffed, I've got mana to an Ocean Thief, so a wheel even gets him. There's a wheel, he's dead. Plus infinite mana off Mind Over Matter. He's just super, super fucked. Just a matter of when he concedes. And there's Doomsday. Probably just tendrils up it's quicker. Yeah, there's the tendrils. Okay, one game in the bag. Okay, who is that? Istamus. Two games against Exlo. I think this is the guy who was playing Kozliak in the competitive room, but he didn't know he was in the competitive room. It seems like every single time I've found a game in the competitive room now, which I almost never find games there, every single time it's by accident they've hosted it there, and they've been sitting there for like 30 minutes. I'm thinking... You know, they've been sitting there 30 minutes. Their deck has to be competitive. No, they're just wondering, why the hell is it taking 30 minutes for someone to join my game? Um, so another Ad Nauseam hand. I think I've got Ad Nauseam quite a bit today. Seems like my deck goes through spurts where every once in a while I'll get nothing but wheel hands, and then I'll get like three Doomsday games in a row, and then I'll get Ad Nauseam like five times in a row. It's really interesting. And they come in spurts like that. 
So, uh, going to pitch the land with a Mox Diamond so that I can make double black with the Petal is what I'm guessing. My uh, logic was there. That and uh, being able to get the Grim Monolith out right away without uh, wasting uh, the Petal. So we can just cast a very quick Ad Nauseam. Demonic Tutor, man, this, this hand has all sorts of different ways we could try to be broken with it. Like, we could use the Demonic Tutor for even mana to go up to a Mana Rock ahead of time if we really wanted to. Uh, being colorless, I don't think he has a ton of ways of just destroying all my Mana Rocks. Um, I think I'm... If I remember correctly, I think I just passed Ad Nauseam. There's something to be said for just recurring insight now to make my land drop as well. Um, I don't think I can pick a bad line here because he's so damn far behind. I think I choose to do Ad Nauseam just because I think it'll just end the game. And holding Demonic Tutor is actually a pretty strong post Ad Nauseam, so... Even though I'm only going to have uh, three mana. I guarantee you available. Demonic 2 is really good. Still have full life. And we've already hit Mana Vault. And Cabal Ritual, so... And a Soul Ring. Yeah, he's just dead. Yeah, Diamond. With Diamond, I can just... Uh, break this Demonic Tutor to Yogwin. Cast the Ritual twice. And it's one player, so you just Tendrils after that. See how I probably lead with the mana. Probably going to ritual. And I would assume I'm going to break diamond into Yogwin since it's one on one and he's colorless. Yeah, there's no reason not to just all in him. It's the most efficient way to go kill him. My desire. I couldn't just straight up tendrils him. Yeah, whatever. That's kind of interesting. I don't know if that was the best line or just me being sloppy because I know it already won. For 10 too. I think I would have cast a couple more spells, though maybe I just wanted to keep the extra mana open. Ah, I kept a Grim Tutor open. Hmm. Eh, I guess that's okay. I kept a Grim Tutor and a Factor uh, Frantic Search open. You should win off that many hits regardless. Oh, I guess it's technically four mana open. Eh, yeah, that wins. Doesn't really matter which way you do it. Okay, Hergul's Recall is probably just getting Storm up to Tender some Why am I casting Doomsday? I'm just going to kill him with Lab Man. I guess that works. I did it to Tutor Tendril, so I guess I was just being a dick. Okay, well, there's that game. What was game two? can't remember. I think I had Ad Nauseam again, or a hand that led itself to Ad Nauseam. Yeah, Grim Monolith and a Dark Ritual with Mystical Tutor is definitely Ad Nauseam, and Mind Over Matter is a perfect card to resolve after Ad Nauseam to win, so this hand just screams, go get Ad Nauseam. Especially considering the Mystical Tutor can't go get a... Uh, any other card we get. I guess with an impulse. Let's see here. Don't have a gush to make a doomsday pile, so there's nothing really to be said for that. I guess I do, because he's going to ghost quarter me. Surprised he didn't. I think he doesn't strip mine me. I think I remember this game, and I'm like, why don't you strip mine me? Or he strip mines me like a horrible time that makes no sense. And I think I even, uh, since he led the strip mine, I think I led the blood crypt because I didn't give a shit about it. I think I was actually happy that he ghost quartered the uh, blood crypt. He does nothing and doesn't strip by me. Hey, I reveal my ad nauseum. And uh, I'm thinking he's probably going to strip mine my Urborg before it's his turn to force the ad nauseum, since I might not have another black source. But apparently, not only is his deck colorless and useless against mine, but he's not very good either. Now he goes to strip mine me when it's completely useless. I'm going to tap out to ad nauseum anyway. And there's tendrils. I have dark ritual. As long as I can get to uh, mind over matter on the field, he dies. So how much mana do I have to be able to make? Just to be able to split to blue. Well, there's a candle, so he's done. Okay. Because what? This nets one with monolith. Dark ritual. Yeah. And then candelabra will split. Alright. I miscount something? Why am I one mana shorter where I thought it would be? Oh, Candelabra cost a mana. So how do I get the other mana? Oh, I've got Gush and uh, Vamp Tutor and Seal, so it's probably a Mana Crypt or anything else that nets me too. Then I can slam the mind over matter. Yeah. Now he's dead. We already have the Tendril, so it's just a matter of uh, casting enough spells. Cast it for eight. Do I have a remand in my hand? Somewhere? 
I've remanded my yard. Am I gonna tutor the Yogwin? Oh, I already remanded. <laughs> okay, I'm just clicking too fast. Yeah. Okay, there's that game. Uh, correction chimp. Another ad nauseum hand with a soul ring and a notion thief. Packed as a backup for an on turn kill and mine sorority hand. This is an excellent hand. Oh, now it's just a disgusting hand. Oh, I remember this game. I think he just scoops to like turn three twister thief. So I'm on the play too. I think this is Edric guy. Yeah. I think he just does exactly what I want him to and just goes, hey, look, I went mana dork into Edric like I'm supposed to. And I'm like, that's great. You lose. Sucks to go second. Welcome to Soul Ring format. Because no force of will on Thief. At that point, he is just fucked. I think he just scoops before I even get to play anything else. Hooray. Uh, this game... Jesus. I think the fraps is starting to lag. I must uh, have time to delete some videos again. Had to mull. Oh, look, another ad nauseum hand. Because this fan tutor will just be a soul ring. I'm just going to click the play button because it's lagging too much when I'm clicking it. It's going to be soul ring into signet. Probably hold up the remand instead of casting the ponder. He just scoops the soul ring signet. Is that just way too strong? Turn two soul ring signet, I quit. Okie dokie. Well, I know how that game would have went. Uh, let's see if this game's any less shitty. Oh, Doomsday Hand. Recoup the two reflections. Let's slow down. Turn two talisman. Don't have red yet for Jaleva. Don't really have gas or a cantrip for Doomsday, but got plenty of islands in high tide, so this hand is perfectly fine. It's just not necessarily uh, fast because it has no gas hit. Oh, mana confluence, so now I have Jaleva online. So now this hand is actually excellent. So this is just going to be a turn three Jaleva slam. Oh yeah, I remember this. He has a, he's a fucking capture of Jing Zhao underneath. But uh, I hit Demonic Tutor, so that's obviously just go get a cantrip, win with Doomsday. With High Tide and Cobalt Ritual, I have like way too much mana. So I think what I do is I decide I'm going to... Uh... Now I remember what happens. I top deck a uh, like a Vamp Tutor or something. Imperial Seal. And I uh... I go get Duress. I should have got Thoughtseize, to be honest. No. He, he can... I'm going to get a free turn. doesn't really matter whether it's Thoughtseize Duress. But I go get... Uh duress to check his hand for uh, force of will and shit so I can be lazy and use an LED pile he doesn't have shit so we're just gonna go get a cantrip and make my generic fast to click pile because I know he has nothing and I could have probably found a better pile considering I have tons of extra mana that's protected or something but it's a one on one so I don't think I saw any point I just grabbed my standard uh, lab man yogwin LED probe gush pile so he's dead So, some horrible fucking games today. Let's see if I remember if any of these are good. I had some good multiplayer games. Mm, this one I played Hirobi, actually. And I lost. That sucked. This one was in the competitive room, but the players weren't actually competitive, and I slaughtered them turn five. Uh, you can't watch it. It's free-for-all. I think I had um, tons and tons of mana, and I uh, went for a wheel. It got counterspelled. And then on the next turn, I passed and flamed and wheeled out anyway, and got massively ahead, and that was like turn four. And then I killed him turn five, I can't remember how. I think I had uh, obscenely infinite something and just had uh, uh, Mind's Desire for like a shit ton and future top online, and I could just kill them any way I wanted at that point. I think I might have like Mind's Desired into Doomsday Tendril Loop just to fuck with them. Uh, it was kind of fun. Let's see if I... Played any commander games recently that were any good? 
playing a lot of uh, Legacy and Vintage. Well, those are all the ones I played today, and they were all crap. I guess we could try to play another one. Uh, I'd rather do the replay, especially if this is starting to lag. Well, hope those games weren't incredibly boring. Let's see if there's anyone whose name I recognize is good on here. No. Uh, I can do a single match, though, so at least we can walk through one together. Maybe I'll get a shittier hand and a uh, freeform. No, I don't want to play fucking freeform. Or commander. Match. I don't want a match. I just want a game. Alright, Zybo. Oh, that, that, that Jace icon. Sometimes their decks are good. No. Doesn't want, of course, doesn't want to let me join. What a waste of my time. <sighs> Alright, Seamus the Pirate. Oh my god! Just going too fast. They're going too fast. Hmm. I don't really want to take the time to play a match, and I don't really. I think this guy's actually good. So it's almost, maybe it's fate that we missed the first couple guys. This name looks familiar to me, and I think it's familiar because it's someone who doesn't suck. Mimoplasm. All right. Huh. One land, no black for ad nauseum. Useless Voltaic key. If we hit a black, we have Necro online. I'm close to ad nauseum, but this hand has a chance of just fucking auto-bricking all the way home. So... I could keep it, and if I hit like a fetch off the top, this hand would just be insanely good. Uh, but in the same vein, I could just brick all day, and this hand could be fucking horrible, and I would get crushed. So we're going to mulligan. Into zero lands. So we're going to mulligan again. Keep the one lander, bro. And he's going to take a sweet ass time deciding if he's going to mulligan or not. And this game won't be fast because he's just going to be slow as piss. Come on. Let's get a five card hand that wheels quickly. So it's like we don't have a five card hand. That would be nice. Or something that has absolutely no dead cards in it. So it's just like my normal seven card hand. If this guy ever decides whether or not to keep his opening hand. Alright, Dark Ritual, Signet, all colors, nice whisper to fill back up. Perfect five card hand. And we go first. Oh, Windfall, nice. Um, I'm tempted to Dark Ritual into Talisman and a Night's nice Whisper to set up Windfall right away and potentially get more value out of my hand, so I think I'm actually going to do that. So, Dark Ritual. Talisman. Nice whisper. And we actually probably don't want to use the Thought Cease because unless he has Force of Will or a 1cc counter, we're going to draw more cards off Windfall, not Thought Seizing. But maybe uh, one of these cards actually isn't a card. We would have drawn that card anyway, whether or not we Nice Whispered. So. Um, we'll fetch our dual land that's an island subtyping. that he doesn't have a 1cc counter. And he doesn't. And now we've got Force of Will, Mana Drain, and Necro, and Triple Black. He's totally fucked. And we bend his Mana Drain and an Archmage. I love it. So now we can slam Necro, protected by Force of Will. And uh, my first draw will actually probably be... Uh, Minor, because I can just trade Force of Will out so quickly with this uh, setup. Mana Crypt, hmm. Um, I'm fine with this. Necro beats Mana Crypt. Let's just follow up as Land Destruction or something. We need to stop it. Uh, putrefy. Do I care about that that much? I'm still going to be able to slam a Necro, so I don't think I do. Because uh, I can still get Black Source with this, so I'm fine with that. The 
force is too good with the necro. Copy artifact, that's interesting. Um, well, we obviously slam the necro. Actually, don't think I dig very hard here at all. Actually, I want to dig for a blue pitch card, and that's really all I necessarily need from this hand. So, we're going to do a light necro at the start for like six. It's already a pitch card, but I kind of want both those cards, so I want a different pitch card. There's a counter spell that'll work. Four times spiral. Lab man, perfect pitch card. Don't need the lab man. Um, Want to land drop. Don't care about toxic deluge. Um, don't really see a need for grim monolith. Kind of slow. Don't need a time spiral with necro on board. Um, so counter spell or lab man. I guess we ditch the lab man uh, now rather than later. Not that I think I'm going to be using the Grim Tutor anytime soon, but I'd rather have it. So, turn off Lab Man as a kill condition. We'll just kill him with Tendrils. And then we'll plan on uh, forcing whatever his play might be this turn. And then we can even pass back on Drain. And just play almost like a control deck this game, but... It's going to have a very tough time beating a Necropotence on board. Mana Crypt or not. Um, read the bones. Don't care about it. <sighs> yeah, he's just going to scoop. He had no chance anyway. Alright, well, I guess I got a bonus game in there at the end, and all my games have been blowouts today. I don't know that's a bad thing. I've been playing this deck for a long time. I haven't made changes in months now. Uh, I'll eventually finish writing my primer, but I much prefer speaking to writing. I, I kind of like avoid typing like the plague. So I'll hopefully update that soon. I want to make it good with uh, pictures and all sorts of stuff. I've got a bunch written in MS Word. Uh, I've not taken any time to format it. Uh, it's still not up to standard. And every time I play, I think of something new to say. I'm kind of a long-winded kind of person. But, uh, yeah, that game was fun, I guess. Necro GG. I've been getting pretty decent uh, hands recently, pretty decent moles. Uh, and I think playing a lot more Ventures and Legacy and just Stormy decks in every format. In fact, even in Modern, I think I'm just playing Storm now. So uh, almost every single deck is starting to feel very similar. And I'm starting to see the lines so lightning fast that I really don't even have to think anymore. Like, uh... In Doomsday, I've been playing that deck so much lately, I don't even uh, count the Storm. I don't think I've ever punted in the past, like, week because of that. I can just, uh, just, I just know by the cards I'm casting what my Storm count is at. And I've been playing so much on MTG lately, I think I would be much more likely to punt with real cards in my hand just because I'm so used to it. But that is it for now. Moxnick signing out.